Hey guys, what's up? It's Jess from Be The Change Tarot. Today we're going to do our little weekly energy check-in. So these are going to be shorter readings, less involved and in, in-depth than our monthlies and our mid-monthlies. Our mid-monthlies will be coming out in about a week, so stay tuned for those. Let's see. So these readings are set up a little differently too. So we are going to, in this reading, take a look at your energy towards your person and your person's energy towards you. So we're going to see what they're thinking about you, how they're feeling about you, um, how they see you at this time, and any actions that you guys might be taking towards each other in the next week. So these are just little weekly check-ins, which means they're not going to be, you know, outcomes, permanent outcomes. They're just seeing where the energy lies for about the week, just to see where we're at. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys. I love reading the comments. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other sign placement videos. Moon, Rising, and Venus will sometimes resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Come join the Soul Family, and it really does help support the channel. And hit that notification button so you can be notified when the mid-monthlies and the monthlies come out. All right. No more blabbing. Archangels and guides, please deliver clear, concise, and precise messages for my beautiful Capricorn in love. Show me what's going on with Capricorn's energy towards their person for the next week. Capricorn's energy towards their person, please, for the next week. Capricorn's energy towards their person, please. Capricorn's energy towards their person, please. Ooh, stuff's trying to fall out. Let's see what we got going on. Oh my. We're going to just go ahead and pull their energy at the same time so we can read it all at once. My poor Gabby, you guys have been like going really, it's You've been going through it. The last few months have been very transformative for you. As ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. But you guys are strong enough for it. And it's all this Capricorn energy that's been going on in our planets. And understand that this is your this is your metamorphosis. This is your transformation. This is your time to emerge the caterpillar to the butterfly. This is your time. This is absolutely your time, Capricorn. That's why it's been hitting you so hard. Because you were going to come out with the very most out of all of this. All right, Cappies. Let me see Capricorn's person, please. What's their energy towards Capricorn? What is their energy towards Capricorn for the next week? What is their energy towards Capricorn for the next week? One more shuffle, guys. So you guys are going through it. This is definitely not for my singles. So Capricorn, your overall energy for the reading is the Ten of Swords. You're done. You're like you're done. This is a breaking point for you where you just feel like mentally you can't handle anymore. You mentally can't you can't do it anymore. And in your mind, you, you're thinking this is over. This is it for you. You have the tower in your thoughts. So this is this relationship is coming to a crashing down standpoint in your mind. You just get to that point, you just can't you just can't do it anymore. And even in your heart, you're a little conflicted with yourself and with them. In your heart, you want to fight for this, but then you don't want to do it anymore. You're tired of the fighting. And it's very both energies at the same time. It's the energy of like, I love this person and I want to fight for what we have. But the energy of like, I'm so tired of fighting. I can't keep fighting for this anymore. And it's very much equally both energies. And that's leaving you very conflicted with this person and very conflicted with yourself. You see this person that loves you. You know that they love you. And you know that you love them. And you know that you, you know that they want to keep offering their love to you. They want to keep trying with you. And you, you see that. But you, this week, at least, like I said, these are not permanent outcomes. These are just where the energy lies. At least this week, guys... You're still going to be doing that balancing game, that being torn between loving this person and wanting to fight for what you have 
and being so tired of fighting and being just at a point where you just don't know if you can do it anymore. And that's kind of where you're at this week. So really meditate and take your time. If this is meant for you, what's meant for you will always be for you. And if that means you have to take a break, if that means you have to take it slow, if this is meant for you, it will still work out. It will still stick around. It will still evolve to, you know, working through these issues. Start meditating and asking your higher self. Sometimes what we want and what is what's best for us are not always the same. Your higher self always wants what's best for you. So if you're not sure, if you can't tap into that intuition and you're having a hard time deciding what you should really do here, ask yourself, is this what I want or is this what is best for me? And you don't have to make any grand choices. Meditate on it. Even just a few minutes a day, pray about it. And then maybe just gradually, maybe decide to take it slow. Maybe decide to take a break. Whatever you have to do that's best for you is what you need to do. I'm going to be praying for you because I know this is a difficult situation. It looks like for the week, Caps, you guys are still just trying to figure things out. And that's okay. Be kind and be patient to yourself. It is okay. It is okay to feel the way you feel. And you have to go through the feelings and feel them to be able to release them anyways. Your person's energy is the Two of Cups. They, it's just so my energy. They know that you guys love each other. They're very stuck in like, but we have this amazing connection. They want to have a new beginning with you. They want to find a way to make it new, to change it, to turn, to make a turnaround in this. But in their heart, they know it's toxic. There's a lot of codependency going on here between one or both of you. Um, there's a lot of fighting. There's just a lot of toxicity. It might resonate differently for different people, but this is in their heart. So as much as in their mind, they're like, no, we can make this work. We can come on. We can have a new beginning. We can turn this around. We love each other so much in their heart. They know that there's a level of toxicity that isn't healthy tied to this connection at this time. They see you as somebody who's torn. So like I said, you are torn and trying to find that balance because twos are all about choices, making choices. I'm not sure which one do I do. And they see that because they see you as somebody who doesn't know what to do, has two choices to make and doesn't know what they're doing. So they know that you're at this place where you're choosing and that you don't really know what to do. And you can see because she's blindfolded, she can't see what choice to make. They might be a little bit petty. I'm going to give you this. They're going to try to communicate with you. Definitely with the Page of Swords here, they're definitely going to try to communicate with you. If it doesn't go their way, there's an aspect of pettiness to it. They could also, if you're if you're broken off communication and are not speaking to them at this time, they're going to continue to try to speak to you as well as they're probably kind of watching you a little bit, seeing what you're up to. So that's just, like I said, this is just the energy for a week. Whew, that is an intense energy, my Capricorns. But remember, right now we're purging things that are not meant for us to get on the tower. It doesn't come down unless it's taking things out that aren't meant to be there. And the universe doesn't shut a door without opening up a better one. But you need to do what's best for you. And you need to take however much time you need to figure out what that is. Your first card that got pulled for you is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So they're trying to give you as much confirmation as possible, as much advice as possible through this. Thank you, Spirit. Can I get one more card for my Capricorns? What message do they need to hear the most? Can I get one more message for them, please? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So Spirit's saying that this, this is all about being present in the moment. Don't stress so much about the things that have happened in the past. And don't worry so much about what's going to come in the future that you don't live at all right now. And it's going to cause anxiety. It's going to cause depression when you're in one place or the other. So Spirit's saying just really try to bring yourself back and stay present in the moment. And enjoy each moment. Don't let everything that's going on in this take all the joy and beauty out of your life. Just. All right, and we're going to pull two Moonology cards for you. Archangels and guides, can I please get two monology cards for my beautiful Capricorn? Oh, well, that was kind of a lot. <laughs> Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So this is once again with asking spirit or figuring out what is what we want versus what is best for us. Look at the bigger picture 
of your life and then be present in the moment. I really recommend meditation for you guys. I really think it's going to help you gain a lot of clarity. And right now, you know, you're in that decision-making thing. You're confused. There's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of thoughts that will really try to clear all that out for you. I highly recommend that for you. And your commitment is being tested. And this could be the commitment to your relationship. It could be the commitment to yourself and how much do you love yourself? How how you know how worth it do you know that you are? And what are you going to allow? So take out this how it resonates for you, and it'll resonate differently for different people. And the messages that come, whenever I read the card, whatever comes to your mind, that's how it is meant to resonate for you. So take it how it resonates for you specifically, so that you can get the very most out of these readings. All right, I'm sending you guys lots of love and light and prayers, and I know that this can be, this is a really difficult situation, and I know you guys are going through it, and you've been going through it, and you're probably like, when am I going to catch a break? It's coming, guys, okay? I'm sending you guys lots of love and light, lots of prayers. You guys are so strong. One of the strongest signs, I believe. You guys absolutely got this, okay? Um, let me know in the comments below if it resonates. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can see your mid-monthlies and your monthlies. Lots of love and light, guys.